Today we're going to show you some amazing uses of the gradient tool in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you three different examples of what we can do with the brand new gradient tool. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So we're going to start off with our first image here. Let's click on this and hit F for full screen and go ahead and zoom in. You can see our subjects look great. They're on this sky, which is pretty cool. I want to make the sky a little bit more interesting. So we're going to start by making a selection of the sky. Let's go to select. Now you can go to select sky. Let's go ahead and click there. Okay. And you can see it did a pretty good job selecting the sky, but we have areas like right here behind our subject, like in between this grass, it didn't actually select it that well. So not to fear. <laughs> Don't worry, we can do it a different way. Let's hit uh, Control or Command D or deselect. You can actually just go to select and then down here to color range too, right? Select color range and you just go ahead and click here on the sky that you want to select. Okay, now here a little uh, heads up where it says selection preview. This is going to say none by default and you can't really see what you're doing. I recommend going over here and putting it grayscale. Boom. And then wherever you click with your eyedropper, the light areas are what gets selected and the dark areas are unselected. So if I click here on the sky, for instance, you can see how yeah, the sky is selected even down here in these intricate parts. And then over here where it says fuzziness, you can increase or decrease the amount of selection that you're going to get. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit OK. So now that our selection is great, let's grab our gradient tool. So we're going to hit G for the gradient tool. Boom, right over here, G. Now you have actually two different options. The classic gradient, this is the one that shipped with Photoshop for many, many years, but now we have a brand new gradient, which is really cool. You can edit it on the fly. I love this new gradient tool. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the gradient tool. Okay, we're going to go ahead and choose our gradient. I'm going to just start with a blue. We'll just start with something like this. You can change this at any time. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you have a few options. You can do a linear gradient. So if I go from like the left to the right, you can see that's how it's going to look. Okay, I have my nice little controls. I can change this at any time. There we go. I could bring it like this, or I could even come here like that and make it look like that. That looks pretty nice. I can go to my radial gradient. Keep in mind, I can do this at any time and maybe just kind of like make this a little bit, click and drag out there. You can click on these controls and kind of make this larger or smaller as well. Okay. You can even click here on your center point and kind of expand or contract that center point, And you can change how these uh, colors fade with each other, right? Like if you wanted to make, you know, some different types of effects, you could do that too. Just click and drag. There we go. And then you can go ahead and move this in. I'm just going to go ahead and reset this by dragging that right to the middle and dragging that right to the middle there as well. You have a reflected diamond gradient. There we go. Your uh, reflection gradient. And then you have your uh, diamond gradient. The, really just these first two were actually useful. So let's go ahead and back to this first one. And we're just going to do a, uh, a top to bottom. I think it looked pretty good like this, right? Like that looked nice and natural. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And we can kind of adjust how that looks. Now, keep in mind that even after you make your gradient, I can still go in here and change the gradient. I can click on any one of these different gradients and it's going to just put this in there. Now, if I go to a gradient like this, right, you're like, okay, how am I actually going to use this, right? Like, that doesn't look like a sky. Well, this is pretty cool because the gradient basically just creates a gradient fill layer. So now our blend mode, I can change this from normal down to something like overlay or soft light. And check that in overlay or even like hard light is kind of cool sometimes. But let's try overlay. This is going to be a little bit more subtle. I can turn that off and on. And then as I kind of move this around, you're going to see I have this cool overlay effect on my image that maybe isn't like incredibly, incredibly strong, but still gives me a really nice desired result. So I can still go through these different ones, keeping in mind that it's set to overlay and I can change my color. Right now we had it on blues, but I could go to purples and I can click on these ones. See, that's kind of cool too all these different effects. Now, let's say you like one color on here, but you want to change a color. Like right now, I, I like this bottom color, but this pur purple at the top, maybe it's too purple. So let's just go ahead and double click right here. Okay. And then I can just use my color picker right over here. I can just change this to whatever color I want. There we go. Oh, I think that looks really beautiful. And of course, you can use your eyedropper to sample colors throughout your image as well. If I wanted that red for lipsticks, I could sample those. But I think it looked kind of good in this like, you know, yellowy color there. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's hit OK. And yeah, I like that. I'm going to double click on there. We'll make it a little bit lighter. 
Fantastic. And there we have our gradient. And keep in mind, I can turn this off and on at any point in time. Isn't that really cool? All right, let's go ahead to our next example where we're going to create a gradient behind our subject. So for this image, I want to enhance my subject a little bit more. So we're going to go again to our gradient tool. We're going to use the regular gradient. Fantastic. And then I want to make sure I just choose my basics. Let's just choose the foreground to transparent gradient. And I'm going to click and drag out there. And I want this to be a radial gradient, not a linear gradient. So I click here, right? Boom on the radial. Okay. Now in this case, my foreground color, I'm going to double click there. I want that to be white. All right. We're going to make that white beautiful and I can expand or contract this at any time. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go to my layer blend modes. We're going to change this from normal. We're going to go down to let's try soft light. I think that's going to look really good. Soft light. And I actually want this to be behind my subject. So let's go click on our background layer where our subject is. We're going to go to select subject. Okay. So we've selected our subject. Keep in mind this gradient fill layer has a layer mask, right? So if I go to my layer mask, and fill my selection with black, it's going to make the gradient invisible where my selection is, basically where my subject is. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that layer mask. We already have our selection active. We're going to go to edit, down to fill, and we're going to go to contents, black. Okay, this is going to fill my layer mask with black where my selection is active. We hit OK, boom, Control or Command D to deselect. And now we got this right behind our subject, a little bit of glow. I can hit Control or Command J, and that's going to duplicate that layer. We have another one of these now, and maybe I want to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. And I can kind of choose how I want to, you know, bring this from the inside to the outside. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. And I can change my blending mode. I could go to overlay or hard light or something like this as well. Let's keep it on soft light. Cool. So now we have a glow behind our subject's head. I want to kind of enhance this just a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and do a new gradient. Let's go ahead and click here in the center of our image and drag out. There we go. I actually want to add a new one. Sometimes if you already have your previous gradient selected and like you just click and drag, it just edits your previous gradient and you might not want that. But if you hold shift and click and drag, there we go. It's going to create a new gradient. Okay, so shift, click and drag will create a new gradient. There we go. Now this one, I want to darken the edges of my image. Okay. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to double click here on our color. Boom. And we're going to go to black. Okay. So now it's black in the center. All I have to do is click on this reverse option. And now it's going to be transparent in the center and black around the edges. Pretty cool, right? And then here we're going to change our layer blend mode from normal. Let's go down to soft light as well. So we're making the edges a little bit darker and we made behind our subject just a little bit brighter. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Let's do another one. Control or Command J and make our subject even brighter. And then you know what I want to do? Control or Command J, another one. And let's go ahead and shift click on that layer mask. And let's bring the opacity down a little bit. That's just going to brighten our subject's face a little bit. So you can see just a little bit of brightening wherever I put that. Okay. All this with the gradient tool. Cool, right? Let's go ahead and shift click all of those and hit Control or Command G to group them all together. And then just turn this off and on. Look at that. All of that stuff was just with the gradient tool. That's a really cool before and after. Crazy easy to do. Gradient tool plus like a soft light and you're good to go. In our last example, we're going to add a little bit of a sun flare with the gradient tool. Okay, so this image is looking really great. Let's hit G for the gradient tool. Again, for our gradient, I want to just go to boom. Let's try something like these oranges. All right, let's open up our oranges. Uh, yeah, we'll see what that looks like. I don't know. Uh, again, we'll use a radial gradient and I'm going to click and drag from the center out just like that. Okay. Now keep in mind, you have your layer masks. I'm going to set this from normal. We're going to go to screen in this case. All right. Now I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, that's not exactly what I want. I can go here and I can continue to click through my different colors if I want to. You can see I'm just going through my different gradients and see like, okay, what are these results going to give me? But another great way to do it, like we showed you earlier, is just double click right here on your color, you know, and then you can kind of set this to like a bright orange, something like that looks pretty good. Okay. And then this color, keep in mind, my blend mode is set to screen right now. So if I make this color out here black, let's just double click here and I just go all the way to black. It's going to make it invisible there. Okay. Because there we go. Look, as you can see, screen makes black invisible. That's kind of the deal with screen. Okay. 
So I can put this kind of like wherever I want. And keep in mind, I can actually, if I go anywhere along this line, I can click here and I can add a point too. So if I want to make this one, maybe I'll make this one like super nice and orangey, something like that. I can do that. How nice is that? Double click on that. Maybe I just want to make it a little bit darker, but maybe nice and saturated. Okay. And then I'm going to click here and we're going to add double click on that. We'll add like a nice red, you know, cool. And then I can move this. Maybe the red I want to be on the other side of the orange. And maybe that red, we don't want it to be so saturated, maybe a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more orangey. Fantastic. So I can move these around now and decide how I want this like sun flare to actually look on my image. Boom. Let's go ahead and bring that out. Let's bring these points in. Just click and drag this. Boop. Click and drag that in too. That point there. And then from the top. Fantastic. Look at that. That's a really nice sun flare that we were able to add. Let's just show the before and after with just the gradient tool. And then, of course, don't forget, you can always at any point in time, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, whoop, bigger, smaller. This is so much fun. That looks pretty good. You can change your opacity. So if you don't want it to be so much, you can just make it a lot more subtle, you know, like that's looks a lot better than what we had before, just making it a little bit more subtle. You can hit control or command H and that's going to hide this overlay. You can see all this overlay here. If you don't want to see it, control or command H, it's going to allow you to hide that. If this is your first time using Control or Command H, it's going to say hide Photoshop or hide extras. Just click on hide extras. There we go. And keep in mind, I can still move this around at any point in time. I'm not sure how I got this blue color in there. I think that was a little bit of an accident. I don't mind it. But if you want to remove a color, just click and drag it out. And then boom, you can see, just click it, literally just drag it away from your, uh, you know, from your gradient and you are good to go. How cool is this? Three amazing uses with the gradient tool in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this, give us a big thumbs up. Let me know in a comment down below what you'd like to learn next. And if you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.